What is up guys, Bloodburger here, 518-2017. I know I was supposed to do a stream tonight, but hey, this is the way it goes. You guys get a video instead. Anyhow, um, this is some ranked match play uh, in Injustice 2. I'm just going to take this time to kind of talk about the game, my first impressions of it, um, my experiences with it thus far. Um, fantastic. I know you guys have probably already read reviews. The game is phenomenal. Um, as far as the fighting game goes, really, really, really good, and I'm going to tell you why. So, first of all, if you are into single player, the game is chock full of content for you. Um, you probably already noticed the story mode uh, playthrough that I posted on the channel, also all of the um, battle simulator endings. That's kind of like uh, in Mortal Kombat XL where they had those ladders. Basically, you could fight like um, a ladder of a set amount of characters and then at the end you'd get like a uh, arcade style endings basically the game's arcade mode is the battle simulator um, after you've done all of that for the 28 default characters and 29 actually if you're counting dark side uh, there is the multiverse and basically what the multiverse is um, if you remember back to Mortal Kombat they used to have like those challenge challenge towers where you would have to defeat a certain amount of characters in a certain amount of time under a certain amount of conditions and whatnot. Um, that's kind of what the multiverse is uh, in a nutshell. Basically they'll say go after X amount of characters um, while fighting under this condition like they'll be like poison that drops from the sky or ice bolts or you'll have to fight without your powers and shit like that. But um, they have all these different conditions and basically what they do is they offer you loot boxes that you can open up for gear. Now you guys all know all about the gear system probably already but I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. Um, basically in these loot boxes, kind of kind of think like Overwatch style, um, you get different quality loot boxes though. There's like a bronze, a silver, and then a gold. And then there's also, um, I think there's a platinum and a diamond box. And then there's also guild boxes. So you can actually form a guild of like-minded players and go after these boxes together um, to give you better odds and better loot. So really, really deep, feature-rich, I and mean, the game is just loaded with content. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the online, though. Basically, the online uses the same GGPO system that Mortal Kombat XL did. Um, so don't think, like, the first Mortal Kombat X netcode that was really really awful think the post uh, Mortal Kombat XL netcode which was damn near perfect I don't know if you guys remember I did videos back in the day for Mortal Kombat XL and I loved the hell out of that game I thought it was really 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 good and without mentioning another game um, just I don't know, it's, it's something about these NRS games, they just feel complete to me. They feel full and like loaded with things to do and so many like awesome characters to try and like the character crisis is so overwhelming because all of these characters are like, Ugh, I want to play Supergirl, I want to play Wonder Woman, I want to play Cheetah, I want to play Catwoman, I want to play Superman, I want to play Bane, I want to play Joker, I want to play um, Black Canary. Even though bitch gives me problems, I want to play her anyway, but like, the game is just loaded with stuff. Like, notwithstanding the mechanics, um, the game doesn't feel, I mean, it, it, it still has that NRS feel to it. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's chunky. It's chunky. I'm not going to say it's slow or clunky, but I'm going to say it's, shit feels heavy. Like, if you press a button, you know, there's, there's like, you know, a weight to everything that you do in this game and like when you hit somebody the sound effects are boom you know you can you know, feel it you know it, it has a lot of the game has power and it feels stiff let's let's put it that way um a lot of people don't like that but i love it i think it's great um you have kind of like a, a a dial a combo system i know i'm going off track i said i was going to talk about netcode and stuff but um i got kind of sidetracked talking about this other stuff anyhow um the mechanics of the game there's so many different ways to fight. You got the clash systems, you got the ground bounces, the wall bounces, um, the stage transitions. It's just, it's a really solid, fun experience. And like, if you guys are kind of on the fence about it, um, 
if, if, if you don't want to play online, there's so much for the single player to do. Um, and then if you do want to play online, there's so much for the, for the multiplayer player to do. There's King of the Hills, um, Hot Seats, Ranked, Non-Ranked, um, Leaderboards, all that shit. It's like, this game is just loaded, man. There's just so much for me to talk about. Like, I can't cover it all in this seven minute video, but like, let's quickly talk about the online before this video ends though. Seamless, smooth. As you can see here, there's no lag, no rollback. It's GGPO, so your net code, to me, I can't tell the difference. It feels like I'm playing offline. Like I don't have any problems hitting any combos, and that may be due to the dial a combo system, but like for me, it feels it feels fine, man. It feels really good. It feels like you're playing offline. So if net code is a concern, I wouldn't sweat that too much, but. All in all, the game is really, really good. Mini review, if I had to give it a score, and I don't really like doing this anymore, I don't I don't review games anymore, but if I had to give it a score, I would have to give it a five out of five because it's just, it's a complete package. There's nothing missing. There's a character in there for everybody. Um, there's modes in there for everybody. If you don't like playing online, you can play offline. There's a ton of shit to do offline. So like, um, the gear system keeps it fresh and fun. No character looks the same. As you can tell, my Supergirl probably looks a lot different than yours if you have the game. Um, and she can look a lot different than this too. Like there's so many different gear options to, to, to make your favorite character your own. And it just seems, it just seems endless. Like I've been playing this game since last, what was it, Wednesday that I got it? I think it was last Wednesday and I'm still like having a ball with it. I love it. It's really, really, really solid game. So I would recommend Injustice 2 for you guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of gameplay that I did for you. If you like it, you know what to do. Hit that follow button or subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. If you have the game, let me know what you, how you feel in it. How, if, you, if you like it, um, if you think things are missing, uh, if you think it could be better, whatever. Oh, you better meter burn that, homie. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, he got he got caught. This guy got fucked up. But anyhow, um, those are my two cents on Injustice 2. Uh, really solid game. I'm enjoying it. NRS doesn't give me shit. You guys know that these people don't pay me to say anything. So these are my opinions. This is how I really feel about it. So hopefully you'll enjoy the game. Hopefully you, you took something from this video. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Flipburger out.